So I'm with uh, Tucker Kimball. He's the director of communications at Gould Academy. Uh, I've known Tucker for a, for a couple of years now, and, and one of the, the things that really drew me to what he was doing up at Gould was his student blog, student faculty blog, which is the Glog, right? Which, yep, yep. What, and the address for that? Uh, Glog.gouldacademy.org. So, yeah, simple, three simple <clears throat> questions for you. Why did you end up choosing a blog, specifically one that you know focuses on you know the student perspective? Mm -hmm. Um, I started Gould uh, four years ago, coming into my fourth year, and it was actually something that I was inheriting from our development director. Um, and he was very much uh, excited about the idea of Web 2.0 in, in blogging and, and being able to tell an authentic story from the perspective of you know, the kids and the faculty and staff that live at the school. To tell the story for a prospective um, family or a current parent who wants to know what it is that their child's doing day to day, right. you know, tell that story and let them um, and let them really see, in essence, what happens at Gould f from a number of different perspectives. Um, you know, a different pr perspective each day of the week. So, uh, you know, I look at it and I, I love the model. I mean, I, I, I'm a big fan of the blog. The question that I think we've talked about off camera before, and I know that a number of schools are kind of struggling with this. Mm -hmm. is, how, how do you su sustain a, a student blog? I imagine that brings its own challenges. It does. It takes time. And, uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's not, takes, you can't snap your fingers, it's, right? It's, it's, it's geologic. It's steady <laughs> pressure. Right. You know? right. um, it really is. Uh, it's, it's getting the kids fired up about it and excited about it. And I think it's really empowering for them um, when they see their little caricature on the, on the blog, um, when they see what they've written is published and it's it, they're they're published. I mean, they're published writers in, in sort of the blogosphere. What and kind I, of standards do you apply to that? Then? Um, you know, I really want them to uh, talk about their their own experiences and add their own voice. I think when we started it, uh, the students began to they started writing in a way that they they thought I wanted them to write right. in. Um, they they were writing in a voice that did not sound like them um, and you know quickly I, I've, I've, been, I've been on them about that for the last four years and they're, they're different each year but but it's something that I think just think is very important is you know don't write what it is that you think that I want to hear or what someone else wants to hear just tell your own authentic story what what happened to you today right you know, just just put that out there and, and add some photos and, and but mainly you know have have fun with it you know yeah. it's it's exciting and it's, and it's a good time so they do it one day a week is that right yes so you rotate you have a different blogger every day yeah different blogger every day uh, monday's a student tuesday's a, a faculty member wednesday's a student thursday's a faculty member and then friday's a student and, and how do you and i mean how do you make sure that they actually deliver the, the blog content on time it's because right? they're deadlines clear clear deadlines they have deadlines um it's you know it's it's trial and error and you just you just watch as it goes and do a lot of reminding and it's, it's a busy lifestyle for a, a boarding school student um, you know I, I it's it's not easy but but you you get the right kids you get the students who want to do it and I think that's that's 90% of the game is, is um, you know, identifying ask that, yeah. ask this who wants to do it because the one that comes forward and says I would love to do this is the one that's going to put it all out there and, and, and be on time and, and publish every day and, and really Really take hold of it, own it, and have a good time with it, and that's what's that's what's important. So, how, so you know, you said it's trial and error. What were some of the things that worked, and what were some of the things that, that fell short? Um, you know, I the, the first year it was the first year was brand new and it was pretty exciting. I think uh, a couple of maybe two years ago, things were hit or miss. Um, I mean, it really is. I think it really is identifying those students who who want to mm -hmm. do it. Um, I think probably taking the tack of, well, I'm going to find a student from this particular niche, this particular niche, this particular niche, because these are the messages that I want to get out there. Mm -hmm. I think that's far less important than finding a, the right kid who, who wants to do it and make it sustainable. And right. I think we learned that. Are there any incentives that you throw their way? Uh, yeah. Um, in the beginning, it was, it was monetary, but then we realized, you know, this is... I don't, I don't think you really need to incentivize it to a certain point because the kids start to, to really enjoy it. Right. But, um, you know, what would make a, a blog even better? Well, let's give every, every student a flip and say, this is yours. Thank you for doing this. This is a gift from us. But, you know, use this. Have fun with this. You know, Focus keep this under your pillow. Right, you right. wake up in the morning, have this with you, and 
you know, wander school with us and get some get some shots and, and add it to the to the blog and you know, I think it's a win win. So that's and that's a pretty minor investment, right, for per camera. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, they're so they're so inexpensive now and it's it just it adds to it. And then they feel you know, they feel like a roving reporter. It's, right. it's they're kind of a rock star. Right? They they're total rock stars. Right. That's awesome. <laughs> so the last question I have for you is, you know, what kind of feedback are you getting? I mean, are parents enjoying it? Are students enjoying it? I mean, what, what's the vibe? Yeah, um, parents really enjoy it. Um, they, they enjoy it the most. It's, it's their window to the school sort of in, in real time other than, um, you know, Facebook updates and Twitter updates. But these are really far more in-depth. I mean, mm-hmm. with the blog, it's a story you really can get a sense of the tone and the feel of what that student did that day. Um, uh, alumni love it. Alumni, you know, respond and... and it's their, it's their portal back into the school and, and watching what the students are doing now gives them a, you know, a nice, a nice way to, to remember what it was that, that, what they were doing when they were at school here. Um, yeah, that emotional connection. Yeah, yeah. We, we really try to get more students commenting and, you know, I think that's, that's the rub with any blog. You want the comments mm-hmm. and um, I know that we can do a better job with that. So that's, that's always a push. So that's the next, is that the next thing you really work? Yeah, on? I think so. Yeah. I, um, I mean, right now we've got nearly fifty thousand visitors to the site over the last four years. So I, I just think it's you know to sustain it and keep it going is, is just the way to go. But if we can get if we can get more current students to engage with it, um, I think we'll be doing really really well. So that's that's the hope. Yeah. Well, this is great. Well, thanks, Tucker. Anytime. Yeah.